Welcome everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Frontier Pilot Simulator! <laughs> we just uh, arrived at Ragnar Transit with 266 energy to spare and a cyclone and it was not very nice, it was a little bit uh, iffy at the end there uh, but we're gonna repair and recharge before offloading our stuff, look at that that charge is almost 5 tons uh, and these guys don't have anything apart from the regular ox. Oh no, these are slightly upgraded. Paul Gears confidently dominates the market of powerful engines. The main problem of increasing engine power is the rise in generated heat. This model of the L Barbarian was able to solve this thanks to the new LM5909 heat exchanger. See, this one has 20% extra power and no extra fuel consumption, so that's quite nice, but we've got 50% extra power with these. Alright, now I'm tempted to wait until the cyclone passes and then go. But let's see how it is outside. <coughs> Man, this would be both amazing and terrible in multiplayer, because whenever you want to play something properly... Oh, the cyclone is gone, I guess. Whenever you want to play something properly in multiplayer like this, um, it never works out, because there's people out there that uh, think that, uh, you know, the, the best fun is chaos, even in games like these. I would love to there to be a you know a whole complement of players. Let's see if I can use this actually. So this no, that control does not work. Ugh. Wow, these engines are quite sensitive. Uh, yeah, I would love for there to be players. Who would want to play this properly? You know, wait in line, uh, follow air traffic control, and so on and so forth. I guess you would have to have private service that would be uh, doing just that and enforcing it. Let's sell the G-Type batteries, <coughs> and then let's buy the structural frames. And I think they want both. Oh, jeez, these are heavy. What? Okay, let's wait for this to be. What, it does not fit in the ship? Seriously, even even after we unloaded the G-Type batteries? Let's see. Uh, no. We cannot get those. I guess we need either more space somehow, or... Huh. Never mind then. <laughs> we can't do that. Alright, let's buy the empty G-Type batteries. And then we'll select the most profitable route and try to get a passenger here as well if there's one. I don't think there is. Alright. Target most profitable. Oh, it's the power plant. It's quite far away. I would also like... Yeah, there's no passengers here. I would also like to stop and get some... Oh, bio sublimates. I don't want that. I want the cockerel. Do these guys have any cockerel? Yes, they do. So we're going over there first. Do these guys have a runway? That is a runway. Bit of an odd one. But we're not going that way. We want to go this way. And again, these empty G type batteries seem to uh, weigh zero. Which is kind of weird. Oh, jeez. Too fast. Come on. And once again, it's pointing us in a completely different direction. Let's see. Hey, pilots. Just want to know that it's my self-control. Now it's working properly. Look! The rudder. Well, sort of. Just, I don't know, I can't get it to work as well as I could a year ago. A year ago, rudder seemed to work okay. It was very fiddly. But now... It sort of works better than before, but it's more fiddly. <laughs> that makes sense. 
I mean, using the right stick would work, but I really need the camera controls as well sometimes. Not always, but sometimes it's nice to go up and down like this. Maybe I could just bind the left and right left uh, stick, the right stick, to, uh, to do rudder and to strafe in VTOL mode. That would be super helpful. See, if I do it gently, it sometimes does it, and if I do it just like crazy, I don't know. What is this? That's eh, okay. Tailwind. It's quite nice. Look, we're above the clouds almost. Stop climbing. I can go a little slower still. Oh my god, where am I going? Double profit. No, 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 no. Well. I guess that is where we're going then. Um, yeah, I, I guess it is. Huh. It's unfortunate that you cannot bring up the map while you're flying. Because the game does not really pause. So, I suppose it's fine. What else do we have here? Hold, cargo gate is closed. <laughs> it's closed, it's an uh, auto toggle chassis switch. What does that do? Auto toggle chassis. Oh, maybe, um, maybe landing gears. I think that's what it is. Flaps, radar, battery, things are open, fixed thrust, and an emergency thing. Right. Oh wow, the ski uh, ceiling is very close here. I actually need this. Look at that thing down there. Those orange things, they're like, ugh. I didn't realize that they're like, um, what are they called in English? Um, the stingy ones. <laughs> oh god, what are they called in English? Oh, I don't know. Oh jeez. I want to avoid all of this, and I have. I want to avoid the ski. The ski ceiling. Um, what is that? All of that there. Oh, it's those things. The bees. Look at those things. That's creepy. All the, all those are egg clutches, I think. Guys over there. Uh, can you? What? Why doesn't my rudder work at all? Because I'm still in the menu. Okay, now I can. Ugh, I hate this. Fine, I'll just turn like this then. No, no, come on, game. Don't do this to me. This is now double profit. Thanks for coming. People here really need food. Well, I don't have any food to give. I'm afraid. I've got empty G type batteries. I mean, can they munch on those? Well, they're a little crunchy. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. No, that does not do the... the alternative control scheme. God, these are bouncy, these engines. Jeez! Alright, fine. That was... Hi, geologist. Have a job for you. Play some geolocators, and there's twenty thousand in it for you. Details. 
The, world, uh, the work is very simple. To help corporations deliver the necessary goods to in the field, <laughs> you will find the first container on the cargo area. This is the one with the orange color. Okay. Pick up this geoscanner. Well, let me just... Uh, uh. Well, I wanted to get... Wait, why can't I sell this here? Oh yeah, because we went to the completely wrong area, didn't we? How did, how did we go there? I have no idea. But you know what? We're gonna get rid of the G-Tab batteries. Losing money on that, but oh well. Damn. Deep, deep Explorer Scanner uses G-Wave technology designed to conduct geological surface studies. Lenses, high precision, used in professional telescopes. Those are some very cheap lenses. Two to two and a half meter. Peeled. Alright, anyway. Let's get the... I wonder when the, where the passenger goes. Probably not where we need to place the scanners. Definitely not. So let's go pick up the scanners. And the reason why I'm going off the taxiway here is because this thing has a turning circle of a... Well, an ox... ship. <laughs> That's a cool little base here. A passenger. Alright, let's pick up the... Geoscanner. Alright, where is it? There it is. A little bit more. There we go. Uh, one ton. Okay, I thought it was going to be a lot heavier. And that's cool. Great, the scanner is in the hold. It's a standard wave 3, lightweight, durable, and compact. Wow, that thing cannot be destroyed, look at that. So where do I place it? Uh, I just did, oh, there. Deliver the scanner here. Is that actually seen on the map? Yes, it is. Alright. Power! I love that sound. So creepy, but sort of very appropriate for for this. Man, these engines are powerful. They really do feel like a scarab like this. Very maneuverable. Yeah, I should probably change to uh, this to flight mode here because we're going to use a lot less energy doing so oh, come on please turn okay. oh that's cool oh look before I remember doing this mission Quite a long time ago, there was nothing. You, you just went to a random place and placed the scanner down. And now there's actually buggies and such. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, those buggies are actually nicely detailed. I'm hoping this is going to be close enough. You succeeded! We are receiving scanner data. One out of five. Oh, jeez. Do I pick it back up or just leave it here? I'm assuming we're gonna have to pick up another one. Um. Okay. Ah. Pick up the second scanner at drill site North 1 and deliver it to the geological exploration site. Where is that? 
It's over here. Skill level will be reduced soon. We recommend you to reduce altitude to one kilometer. Okay, I think we can make it over there without actually recharging. <laughs> okay, let's get some speed up. Camera is not uncooperative. Oh jeez, where the hell are you going? Stop it! Right, yeah, see? I think we are above the ski level. So that's not good. Well, we were. I need the radar. Need the radar. Oh jeez. Again, the ski level is so low. Woo! This is a lot more interesting than it used to be. Come on, I need strafing. I need rudder. Great. Oh, now it's stable. What? What the hell's going on? This is all kinds of weird. Wait, where did it? No, I don't want that. Protect the circuit overload. That's what I was talking about. Great. Please let me... Please let me change to uh, normal operation. This is really bad. Now we have to wait for this. Come on. For the radar to restore. Because otherwise I'm blind. I don't see where we're going. Come on. Okay. Damn. Okay, this thing... Oh. That was way too slow there. Story of my life. Alright, come on. Let's get over there without actually getting completely annihilated. I wish I had a rudder. So now you see how you can overload... Oh, I want to stay away from that. So now you see how you can overload your uh, radar. And it's very not nice because you, you're you completely blind. You don't have the AR, AR mode or wind charts. You... Uh, you don't know where anything is unless you're very close to it. I'll try to fly between these. Okay. I hope this is a base actually. Because if it's not, we're going to be paying quite a lot to uh, replenish our ship. I don't think it is a base. Oh, it is. It's north one. Excellent. Okay. Wind chart on. Left shoulder X. No. Wait a second. <gasps> oh my god. I just found the shortcut for this without having to go into radar. It's left shoulder X. Oh. Oh, this this will help. Should have reduced thrust way earlier because we were way too quick. Yes, I know. I, I know. I know. I can't see anything. There we go. See, they've got a runway here as well, but it's so short. Most of these runways are so short. I don't really know how you're supposed to. How you're supposed to land on them as a runway? Where do I recharge here? I think it's there to the left, if I'm not mistaken. Um, where is it? Uh, okay. Do it. Do I go to this repair uh, thing? I'm confused. They don't have a repair hangar here either, it seems.
Okay. In the area of the northern gorge, a pilot has gone missing. Initially, the ship's signal was lost, and the beacon of the rescue capsule stopped working. Last known coordinates received. Where is the landing area here? Oh, wait a second. It's showing me... There's something there to the left. Okay, so let's pick this up. Also, where is this lost pilot? Oh, there. Yeah, we'll, uh... We'll put this geological scanner where it needs to go. And then we'll go look for the pilot as well. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this. This is such a fun game. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.